Hey there, my name is Starship and welcome back to another episode of Stack and Assist part 1 of a whole new series because a new update came out, the Order and Logic update. I have made a video about this. There I was talking about what card just got revealed because the beta just got revealed and I played some of the beta but the uh, new update has already come out. So we are just going to play it for real with the new bug fixes and all that sort of stuff. And I'm going to show you every card first and we're going to discover every card first uh, after which I will make a few videos about some automated contraptions like an automated omelette form or even automated uh, stew form which is even more complex so uh yeah so this is the card that it's all about the university and i believe you get it from the logic and reason pack but you make it by having four bricks and a wizard the wizard will make then the university a place of wisdom you've discovered all their ideas yes and then you can gift it 50 coins it will take like 12 seconds or something and it will come out with a new idea and all of those ideas can be something like like an idea for the hotspot. The hotspot is a replenishable source of food that your villagers can eat from. Add food and they'll eat it from at the end of the moon. And it works exactly as it's written here. For example, we have this omelette here. It has food source of three, so we put it in this thing and now this has a food source of three and i can i believe this can be a maximum of 50 so you can put all your food cards which you don't want to sell into this thing so your villagers are just going to eat from this thing instead of instead of just eating food from anywhere on the board another cool thing is that we have discovered is a butchery and a butchery you can put an animal on and then it will like send the animal on a vacation like it says in the description down there um but when you do you get meat from it and i think all the things they can drop i'm not sure about that but this will make your uh, guys go away without having to fight them which is cool especially handy if you want to make an automated system for stool for example the only way to get new uh, animals before was to buy more packs to get more cows for example or to uh, have chickens lay eggs and then have those eggs come out as new chickens but now we have the breeding pen when you put two cows on here they will poop out a new cow every so much time and with this thing you can make more cows and if you send those cows on vacations you can get infinite amount of meat without having to buy packs anymore which is amazing so it's very expensive to get these ideas oh wait i should show you what they cost the hot pot cost a villager you need to have a campfire it does not consume the campfire i believe and just two iron bars and that's it so that's very cheap or not very cheap if you're in the early game of course having iron bars is a big step uh, but it's nice the butchery to make this you have uh, need to have a raw meat two planks one iron bar and a villager so it's also when you get the university and you get to spend so many coins on it you probably already have these things so it's very nice to make as well easy to make i mean meant nice and then you have one really important thing a lighthouse and increases the board size past the warehouse limit so if you've played this game to its maximum capacity once you build warehouses they will increase the boards but once you have too many warehouses it won't increase the boards but the lighthouse will do that thing will increase the board size limit past the warehouse limit which is very nice because then you can put more farms everywhere on your board the lighthouse is made by having two bricks one glass and one campfire and a villager so for this one you need to have gone to the island first but then you can make this thing uh, with of course glass i don't know how many of these you can have i don't know if there's a lighthouse board li space limit but if there's not you can make your board infinitely large but i don't think that's the case i think it's like a new limit but we'll find out because I, I will make a lot of these then we've got a chest and now it's a stone because i put stone in it but this can store up to i believe i think i'm not sure how many can fit in there but i believe it's 50 but you can just store your resource in there and click on it and it will come out so that's super nice i believe this only holds one type one type of resource but it's nice to have a chest uh, if you have too many uh, stones for example and you make this uh, by two planks one iron bar and a magic dust so you need to go to have killed some people and of course you need to have discovered some iron and then you can make this nice now you got another really cool thing a potato magnet or just a resource magnet now it's a resource magnet but if you put magic dust in there it will be a magic dust uh, magnet but if you put a potato on there it will be a potato magnet and when new potatoes arrive uh, give me one moment one second and they will all go to this place at 
doesn't matter where the magnet is if a new resource is spawned of the type it will just go there so that's super handy if you want to have like a farm area and then have like an industrial area where you make new things out of it so you can just organize everything real nicely so i love this thing we also discovered a new idea a wishing well and you need two bricks for this a villager bottle of water and two magic dust uh, but you need a bottle of water and you can only get that on the island so i have not made this one yet and i'm not sure what it does except that it gives you a wish for every 100, co 100 coins. I don't know what that means, but it's probably really fun. We will make this. I have not told you what the magnet costs to make, but it costs just a villager and a gold bar and a magic dust. So one of the two things that you need to get from an enemy and from the islands, but then you can make the resource magnets. This card magically pulls cards of the same kinds toward it. Nice. Then another idea, uh, the dustbin. You need a villager for this, an iron bar and goop. Some enemies drop goop and you, of course, if food spoils on the islands, you get goop as well. Uh, so we have not made this one yet because we don't have goop, but this allows you to get rid of cards you don't want anymore. So if your board is getting too full and you just want to get rid of some cards without selling them because you get new coins from selling them, which also take in space, maybe you don't want that. Then you have this thing. So that's super nice. Then we got another idea, magic glue. This costs goop, magic dust and a charcoal. And because it costs goop, uh, we have not made this one yet. But it sticks a stack on top of it to this board and it prevents it from moving. So if you have some uh, for example magnets you really don't want to move around then you can make some magic glue to just stick it to the board i think and last but not least it's the crane and um can i yes it lifts cars from one place to another and this means that we can like put it here and now it will move this magic dust to this place but you of course want this to be um for example here you can double click it to for it to change directions and you can, you can for example do something like this so now these potatoes will go onto the stove i believe that's how this works nice uh, the, the last time when i played in beta this didn't work but now it does work so this is the key for your automated systems together with the magnets and stuff like that and the uh, butchery and the breeding pens now you can finally make a fully automated stew system which is really cool i believe gritatas are better though but yeah that's nice and the crane you make by uh having an iron bar a plank a stick and a magic dust and then you can these lift cards from one place to another so these are all of the new 11 new cards uh, this card you can get by having a deal for the logic and order uh, packs and when you have this you need to gift it 50 coins and for every 50 coins you will get one of these ideas so that's what the new update is all about it actually makes all of our lives much easier um but you can be creative with this you can make things that you didn't which you couldn't make before but the first thing that i want to do is make many more lighthouses because i want this poor space to be enormous so we have the room to make new things let's create our first uh, lighthouse or seconds actually You see, it, it, it went to the hotpot first. Nice. Nice, the first warehouse, a uh, lighthouse. The second, another lighthouse. And another lighthouse, noise. Now that we have another one, we have four. All right, let's make another one. Now we got five lighthouses. Look at how big the board's getting. Real nice. And another one, amazing. Does this actually increase this too? Oh, it does by 14. Nice, so it's the same as the warehouse, but it increases your board even bigger. I, I am doing this on purpose. I'm not moving anything around yet because I want to see how much bigger the board is compared to what we we first had. Nice, it's still increasing in size. Oh, my game is crashing. Oh no. All right, I hope not a lot it lost. Okay, we still have eight lighthouses. Okay, thank you for automatically <laughs> saving it apparently. Nice. And another lighthouse. Another one. Another one. Oh, and another one, and it did not increase anymore. So this is the max board space that you can have uh, with the lighthouses. It's actually really big because this was the board before, and this is the board with those extra lighthouses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly organize everything. All right, everything is now a little bit more organized, but this, you see that we have so much more st space now. So I'm probably going to tweak around it a little bit because I want to have some kind of food sections. I want to make some automated systems. I 
want to make automatic uh, automated smelter systems and things like that but we will do that in the next few episodes but the next episode we are uh, first going to discover these new things so we're going to go to the island discover those things discover what the wishing bell is all about and then make the uh, make a few videos about a few automated systems so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you there bye